Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to my review of episode 2 of Supra Chat for Miss Supranational 2022. Welcome! So this is my review of the episode 2 of the Super Chat for Miss Supernational 2022 and before I proceed let me just say that I am super thankful to the ladies that I reviewed on my episode 1 which is already uploaded on my channel because majority of them have actually reached out to me and sent me message thanking me for all the commentaries that I gave so I truly appreciate that as well so thank you very much now we will be talking about the ladies in episode 2 so there were 8 contenders and here they are on the screen and same as, as usual, there were three questions that were asked to them. First was the personal question, second was the question from the fans, and finally similar question. The same question to everyone, and the question was, will, I mean, can we know happiness without knowing about sadness? That is actually a very, very interesting question, and it really, I mean, it really opened the minds of the ladies in these groups. I'm super excited to talk about it. So we will be talking them based on my ranking. I will be ranking them from 8 to my winner for this group. So let's talk about it. Starting with my number 8, Costa Rica. Natalia Gonzalez, she was asked about the most crucial social... Pro oh, by the way, um, just like my review for episode 1 and all throughout the other episodes, I did it. I only gave a very small weight to personal questions because the questions are very easy. It came from their very own profile, so obviously they could answer that right away. So I gave more weight to the second question and to the last question because these are unexpected questions. So it would really test how they communicate to unexpected questions. So let's continue. My number eight was Costa Rica, Natalia Gonzalez. She was asked about the most crucial social problem that her country is going through. She mentioned insecurity and a big percentage of poverty and she mentioned and she just mentioned to instill in education to prevent it from happening again in the future. I feel like her answer needs a little bit more elaboration and I wish she just picked one of the two that she mentioned and then talk about it further, elaborate it further because she said in cure insecurity. She wasn't able to specify insecurity on what aspect. So that's something I didn't get when it comes to her response. I just wish she'll work on it next time. For the last question, it was okay and is at least better than the first than the second one. I get her thoughts, but she really needs to work on presenting her answer. So the presentation is something that she really needs to work with. My number seven goes to Mexico, Regina Gonzalez Salman. Her second question was about the thing that she loved and the, and the I mean, I'm so, I'm so sorry. The thing that she loved about her country and that she wanted everybody to know. Um, I truly commend her for trying her best to speak in English. It was just an okay answer to me. It was just a simple response and it didn't really made me wow overall for the last response honestly i just wish she spoke in her native language because scenarios like this could i mean it, it was really obvious that she got lost for words during her presentation of her response and scenarios like this could really cost you the crown so i know speaking english gives you a little bit of an advantage in a way because most of the judges are English speakers so they could easily understand what you're trying to say but pageants like Miss Supernational are providing interpreters so if you believe that you are more confident in expressing yourself in your own language do it do not risk it especially if you're not sure if you could elaborate and say what you have in mind if you speak in English so choose the language that you're comfortable with okay my number six goes to Guatemala Maria Fernanda Millan her second question was about the importance of mental health and I feel like I am a quit I'm quite disappointed because she's also a doctor although she isn't specifically on the field of mental health 
I just wish that she emphasized more on the importance of mental health. It left me unsatisfied with her response. For the last question, it was just okay-ish to me. It didn't have that much impact and it's probably caused by her monotonous way of delivering her answer and that's something she really needs to work on because if just based on the content of her response let's say you translate her answer into a written form it actually makes some good she's actually making some good points but the moment she said i mean she delivered her answer in a speaking way i'm not a really huge fan of the delivery it was kind it was really monotonous to me and again i've been saying this many times the content is as important as delivery okay my number five goes to iceland it is freya on the second round she was asked what does woman lack these days it was a very short kind of a sweet response and actually i find it good but i am wishing that she'll give us more enthusiasm when responding to the question for the last question, honestly, I have this same feedback. Great thoughts, short, but definitely answer the question, and that is a compliment to her. I just would love to see a bit more liveliness when it comes to delivery. I mean, it's just, it needs more life, to be honest. Okay, so her answer was good, and it could have been better with great energy. So try that next time. My number four goes to the Dominican Republic, Emily Ruiz. She was asked about something that empowers her, that could help empower others. That's a really, really good question. And what an excellent way of responding to the question. Tip! This is the kind of response that we wanted to hear. You, wa you wanted to start with a general statement first that is connected with your follow-up. And in her case, she talked about her experiences in her ground up project, which is excellent because that is how you personalize your response. And I have mentioned many, many times how important personalizing your response is because that makes you you. Your experience defines you. So using your experience to respond to questions make it more specific and beautiful. And also, she ended with a very strong statement you can either end it with a general or specific statement just give a strong closing because closing also is very important that was a good answer for me for the last question she gave a very sweet response about being grateful even for simple things but i feel like she didn't answer the question the main thought of her response is that when you're happy there's no place for sadness which again didn't really answer the question so quite some deduction from me on that round my number three goes to Colombia Valentina Espinosa she was asked about one stereotype that she would like to change I honestly didn't expect her response to this question but it was acceptable to me because I feel like those are simple stereotyping that we usually ignore and I feel glad that she talked about it and if there's one thing that I would like her to work on she need to eliminate fillers like ums because there were a lot of it when she responded to that during that round for the last question she gave an excellent answer and although I would love to have the delivery and presentation to be more polished but the way she delivered it confidently and with her voice that really makes you listen to her I mean that was actually an ingredient for a great performance in a speaking competition such as this so well done to Colombia my number two goes to Canada Jessica Bailey her second question was about her decision to help visually impaired people I am so glad that this question was asked to her because we get to know more of her ground up project which I believe is very inspiring and very very beautiful so I truly commend her for that she spoke very well too and I feel like she said everything that she wanted to say and that really helped because she is uh, she's very articulate and she was able to express whatever she wanted to for the last question her answer was actually good it was kind of technical though when it comes to presentation I just wish she makes it sound simpler but overall it was really really good that kind of answer really came from someone who processed 
the question very very well but I, I honestly feel like she's one of the few ladies who really hit the bull's eye in the last question which as I've said earlier a very very tricky but very good question but just an additional tip for her I wanted her to work on the delivery and make it sound more engaging because she needs to work on emphasizing some words and avoid sounding monotonous because there are really cases where she does sound monotonous and I'm saying that because she has so much potentials just polish those very little things and she's on her way to greatness and my winner for episode 2 this is my personal choice to win Bolivia Macarena Castillo she was asked on what would be her legacy if she wins the title and take note she was the only one who spoke Spanish and whose response was interpreted and her response here was Wow, I feel like it would have been an excellent response if she's in the finals of Miss Supernational. I can really feel her passion, her determination, her confidence, and her eloquence. That was actually quite impressive. For the last question, another excellent answer. Honestly, I was reading through the comments on the official episode 2 of Miss Supernational and I feel like Bolivia was so underrated because she didn't speak English but if you just listen to the interpreter and focus on how she delivered her answer and how she speaks in her native language for me she's definitely the best in both rounds content wise she was amazing I love her thought process and I surely love the way she presented her answers for the delivery outstanding I love the hand gestures because it gives more impact to her response she's also very confident in responding to the question and flawless delivery at the same time you can really tell that she's very confident in herself and with the way she responds to the question so that's why my choice is Bolivia so again this is my review and let me just remind everyone that there will be two winners for the Super Chat and these two will advance to the top 24 but of course they will still have to battle their way until only two ladies remain for this round there will be two winners one will be the winner from the Miss Supernational voting app while the second winner will be voted by the judges and for my case Bolivia is my winner and my complete ranking but of course everything could still change depending on who the other judges chose but to me Here's my choice. And I would love to know your thoughts, whether you agree with me or not. So don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.